Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Aster, aka Hold This L. We are back here today for Season 7, Week 8 of the NPL Majors, here to try to get yet another loss. And uh, this week we are taking on Shoddy and his Bayern Munich, who I have never played before in league format. This is the first time facing off. I've known Shoddy for over a year now, and uh, he's got a pretty scary team. We're going to take a look at it real quick as I bring it up on my screen. He's got Mega Kangaskhan, should be banned, Skarmory, Latias, Needle Queen, the queen of all ground types, Weavile, which is his Zemon, Seismitoad, nicknamed Shoddy by some people, namely Jolt, Comfy, the, uh, the Aster Destroyer, Gorgeist, Cobalion, Electrode, which does no damage to anything, and Floatzel. So, uh, we are prepped for Shoddy's team. Uh, as you can see, we got a team ready on screen. I'm gonna make my explanations here for you guys. So, uh, we got Mega Mawile, max HP, max attack with an adamant nature, a little bit of defense, and uh, we got Iron Head, Fire Fang, Sucker Punch, and Swords Dance. Obviously, you can see, uh, so I'm not gonna get too many opportunities to Swords Dance up, seeing as this team is quite fast and a lot of things can hit me for a lot of damage, but there are some things that I force out. Namely, Comfy, uh, things like, uh, I guess, Electrode, if it can't do enough damage to me. Skarmory, especially, it would be forced to whirlwind me out, in which case I can get off a of Fire Fang. There are a few things that I do scare out a little bit. Latias uh, is one of them, and of course we do have the Sucker Punch on deck. Uh, we've got Iron Head, which hits most of his team neutrally across. Uh, I thought it was better than Play Rough because, I, of course, I do have the Fire Fang for the Skarmory, for the Cobalion. So Iron Head should be doing enough damage. And then Sucker Punch can pick off the rest. So pretty standard set. We do have Intimidate. That's going to help with the Mega Kang. Uh, a few other of his uh, physical attackers. This is my really only, only my, really che my real check to uh, Weavile. Uh, seeing as that it can hold a Watmel Berry with uh, Natural Gift as well as Z Dig, uh, which is something that he ran last week then it's not a 100% check, and I do have to play around it a little bit, but uh, I should be able to maneuver. Next up, we have Rotom Cut. The uh, I didn't nickname my Mons this week. I do apologize. Uh, they are not nicknamed in the in the battle either. Uh, I'm going to try to watch out for that for next week. We are taking on Gypsy. Very important that we have nicknames in that battle because, you know, uh, that is pretty much a free W for us, uh, seeing as it is Shoddy King himself. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, Gypsy King himself. <laughs> we are taking on Gypsy. Uh, but anyway, we got Rotom Mo with a Choice Scarf. Uh, very nice speed tier, outspeeds a lot of his uh, offensive threats, including Weavile. Of course, I can catch a nice shard, but uh, if I'm at enough health, that should be fine as long as he doesn't have an SD up. Uh, we do got Volt Switch, uh, Leaf Storm, Hidden Power Ice hits nice on Nido Queen and Latias, uh, as well as pretty much nothing else except for the uh, Gorgeist, so uh, that's about it. But Leaf Storm and Volt Switch do enough damage, and Trick is very nice for his slower mons that want to come in, things like Nido Queen and uh, Skarmory, especially, are his big switch ins. Uh, if he's expecting me to be Scarf, lock myself into Leaf Storm. Uh, those are two things that can take it. Uh, comfy catching a Scarf is always nice as well, locking itself into Draining Kiss. I do have responses to Draining Kiss, so that's pretty much that. Uh, we are Mech Special Attack Modest, because we can be, because we are faster than Weavile. There's no real Scarfer that I'm worried about, because I can't outspeed m many of his main Scarfers anyway. If he decides to Scarf his Weavile, it's going to be faster than me, regardless of what I do. Same thing with Cobalion, and uh, as well as Latias, so uh, that's pretty much the speed tier that I hit. I also outspeed, I think, Max Speed, Modest, Nido Queen, so should be able to cover that. Next up, we have Latios with a Yachi Berry. We are a Dragon Dance set once again because that's all that seems to be working on this team. Uh, we have Outrage, Earthquake, Dragon Dance, and Roost. So Roost is quite nice uh, as I can stall out some of his uh, his weaker mons, things like Seismitoad. And uh, Nido Queen can't hit me too, too hard with the Ice Beam thanks to the Yachi Berry, so that's quite nice. I do live uh, I, Nido Queen's non Life Orb Ice Beam into Weavile's Life Orb Ice Shard. Uh, because of the y Yachi Berry, so that's quite nice because of my defensive investment, uh, as well as my HP. And uh, Outrage Earthquake does a lot of work to his team, as you can see, Kang doesn't want to take a plus one Outrage. Uh, it's more than likely going to come as a bulky variant, but even at that, it doesn't want to take two. Uh, Needle Queen doesn't want to take an Earthquake unless it's Shooka Berry. Weavile dies to a plus one Outrage, uh, no matter the investment. After Rocks, uh, Seismitoad's not going to take it well, and uh, Earthquake is nice for hitting Comfy, Cobalion, things like that, so very nice set. And I do have enough speed, just as with Rotom. Uh, I have a little bit more on this set. I can't remember exactly why. Uh, I am outspeeding something, but I can't uh, put my finger on it. It might be ma this might actually be max speed Nido Queen with Modest, and this thing doesn't do it. But if I expect him to bring Scarf Nido Queen, then uh, it's probably not going to be uh, its max speed Modest. So 
Uh, that's Latios. Next up, we got Alola Ninetales. Choice Specs, because this thing does a lot of work to his team. As you can see, his uh, ice and fairy resists are very limited. Uh, and on top of that, I do have freeze dry for things like the Seismitoad, and it hits quite neutrally across. Uh, this is a nice check for Weavile in case it doesn't have Poison Jab. It probably wouldn't carry Poison Jab because my main response is going to be Weavile. Gotta watch out once again for Z Dig. But other than that, I can pretty much take any move that it wants to go for. And I got Aurora Veil in case uh, I want to set up Latios more reliably. And I feel like... Uh, clicking a move pretty much doesn't accomplish anything for me if he's got a free sack on rocks uh, or anything like that. Granted, I don't have rocks on this team, so uh, that's not that's never going to be uh, a situation that occurs. I uh, wonder if I have Toxic. I think I have Toxic somewhere. I uh, can't remember where, but yeah. Anyway, um, moving on, we have Tornadus T, the Leftovers variant with Knockoff, Iron Tail, U-Turn, and Taunt. Uh, it's a physically offensive variant, basically. It doesn't have any attack investment. It's mostly, mostly specially defensive, uh, essentially quite bulky. Meant to take on his Latias, I can knock it off, you turn on it. Uh, I am faster than Latias, of course. I'm able to take hits quite nicely from uh, from a lot of things on his team. I can switch into things like Comfy, be able to Iron Tail it, and I, I, got, I gotta have something for Comfy, right? Because that's the Astro Destroyer, so uh, that's pretty much it. 240 HP, 4 in defense, 96 speed F, and uh, 168 speed. The speed I explained is to outspeed Latias at max speed. Uh, I can't outspeed Weavile anyway, so this is where I want to hit. And uh, I can't really touch Cobalion, but I can U-turn out on it. I can taunt it and prevent it from getting up its rocks. So that's always nice. His main rock setters are going to be Seismitoad and uh, Cobalion. Seism Seismitoad has to fear the Grass Knot. And uh, Cobalion can't really hit him too hard outside of Iron Head or Stone Edge. So uh, it's all good. And uh, finally, we do have our uh, Mega Kang response, which is Rocky Helmet Slowbro with Scald, Grass Knot, Thunder Wave, and Rest. I'm not sure why I packed on Rest, because uh, Slowbro is immune to Toxic, as you guys will see. Uh, and... Uh, the rest of the moves, uh, Grass Knot is to hit his only uh, water immunity, which is uh, Seismitoad, as well as uh, potentially the Floatzel, because of course it does get Water Veil, so uh, that's quite nice. Thunder Wave is nice across his team, uh, because the things that don't want to take this thing's uh, Stab plus Grass Knot do get paralyzed, so that's quite nice. And uh, then of course, like I said, we have a useless rest here. So uh, moving on, let's uh, get into the battle, and uh, we'll see how it went down. So here it is. And uh, I could have paused it there, I completely forgot, but it's all fine and dandy because we are using Camtasia and I can make the cuts, the necessary cuts and adjustments to the scales so that you guys can see this uh, in prime time. So I'm not exactly sure how this battle went down, we're going to see what led with what. Uh, I lead off with Tornadus, he does lead with his Nido Queen. I think I'm going to immediately go for a Taunt and uh, prevent this thing from getting up rocks as he just goes for a safe Ice Beam. Quite nice, does 54%, I'm able to take that thanks to my bulk investment, and I'm going to be able to U-turn right on out of there into something like uh, Latios, which of course doesn't take the Ice Beam too well, but uh, I do have the Ouchie Berry, I am going to burn it off right away, but it's fine, as you can see, I only take 26% from that, and uh, I am going to double out immediately into my Alolan Ninetales, knowing that he's more than likely not going to click Sludge Wave. He does switch out into his Kangaskhan, which is quite nice for me, as I'm going to burn this thing with a little bit of damage, and uh, now I'm going to switch into my Slowbro, and uh, I'll let the narrative uh, speak for itself. I fired and I missed. Nice moves. And then I fired and then I missed. This went on for several hours. Alright, so, as you can see, like I said, uh, Slowbro is pretty much immune to Toxic uh, most of the time, so uh, that's pretty much what happens. And, uh, yeah, so he's gonna go now into his Cobalion as I'm going to pretty much just fire off a, a Scald or a Thunder Wave, I believe, a Thunder Wave. He does taunt me, though, and that's gonna force me out. I do have the Regenerator. I'm gonna be up to almost full after this turn. I'm gonna go into my Latios as he goes for a Volt Switch. Uh, that's fine. As long as he's not getting up rocks, I'm good with that, as he is now gonna go into his Weavile. Now, this is a very important turn. Uh, obviously, Weavile can Pursuit Trap me. I have no more need for my Latios at this point. It doesn't really switch into anything too reliably outside of the Cobalion. I can't really hit the Skarmory with my coverage. And uh, the Needle Queen can catch me with an Ice Beam. The Kang takes nothing from this thing. So uh, I am going to stay in here as he does Pursuit. And I live on one after a crit Pursuit. And I'm going to get a Clutch Outrage off here. And he's going to take 75%. So if he tries to Pursuit me again, he is going to go down to 6%. He only has one more Life Orb hit in him. And that is great for me. So I am going to now go out into my Tornadus. And I'm actually, I think, going to double here uh, into my uh, Mawile to try to catch the Ice Shard or the Icicle Crash. 
uh, for it to do as little damage as possible. And he's going to double out himself into a Skarmory. Now he's going to be able to get up rocks here. That's fine. I'm going to get up a Swords Dance. Uh, this pretty much uh, puts me in a position to just fire off an Iron Head. I don't want to necessarily go for a uh, Fire Fang in case he has counter. I am going to get the flinch on that turn with the Iron Head, that, which is very unfortunate for him. And then I'm going to go for the Fire Fang. He takes a little, uh, I take a little more Rocky Helmet damage. He's not the 2%. Goes for Iron Head. I neglected to go for the Sucker Punch on that turn uh, just because I felt Fire Fang was a little more safe and I would end up taking about the same amount of damage regardless of what I did. So now he's going to go out into Cobalion. Obviously, I cannot Sucker Punch this thing. I'm going to give it a free boost if I do that. Would do a, a good amount of damage, but uh, I just want to go for the Fire Fang here in case he clicks Volt Switch or whatever else so he is going to uh, knock me out with the close combat I'm now going to go into my nine tails he's at minus one spadef unless he's max HP he doesn't take this moon blast but he's max HP however he doesn't click iron head he clicks volt switch so my nine tails is still well alive as he's now going to go out into his needle queen which is going to take a little bit of hail uh, I could go for another moon blast but I want to keep my nine tails around just a little bit longer so I'm going to go out into my tornadoes on a potential sludge wave as he does go for the ice beam reading that very nice play on shoddy's part and that's going to bring me down to 11 percent and uh, now I believe I'm just going to go for a knockoff and get rid of this thing Things item which is ends up being iron ball shoddy predicted me to bring um, the trick room so he wanted one mon that could beat all of my trick room mons and needle queen is pretty good at that so now I'm gonna go on to nine tails nothing really takes a blizzard too well he is of course going to sack off his cobalion on this turn and I am gonna get a blizzard off on that thing and then he is going to go back into his uh, Kang or Weavile excuse me and I predict him not to pursue on this turn, however, it would have put me in range of rocks, which would have been a pretty good play. But he does opt to just go for the knockoff, and that is going to leave my Rotom alive a little bit longer. It does have a Choice Scarf, uh, which is now gone, and I'm at 16%, which means that I can still come back in on rocks once. So I'm going to switch out here, and I'm going to go out into Slowbro, which is still healthy enough to take on the Kangaskhan. He's going to go for a Wish, and this is a very important turn. I can do one of two things. I can rest on this turn to make sure my Slowbro isn't toxic anymore, or I can prevent the Needle Queen from coming in on, at all and going for Scald. That is exactly what I'm going to do, and his Needle Queen comes in, takes a Scald, goes straight down, the Wish is wasted, and now we are Kangaskhan. Uh, with only Earthquake on it to hit my Slowbro, uh, as well as Toxic, versus a Rest Slowbro. So I lied, Rest is pretty clutch, uh, Slowbro isn't completely immune to Toxic, over time it will die. So I get off the Rest, and uh, he goes for Earthquake, and at this point it's just going to be a PP stall war, uh, and I'm just going to go through some turns here. So uh, eventually Shoddy decides not to play this game anymore, and uh, he is going to allow his Kang to drop to my Scalds. Uh, he says it in the chat, and uh, that is going to be the end of the game. So we do take the win over the Bayern Munich 3-0. Uh, sorry for the strange commentary, guys. I do want to apologize. I wanted to do something a little bit different this time around. Kind of messed up a little bit, but uh, it's my first time doing weird commentary like this. So please bear with me. Um, it was, a, it was a fun game. Uh, I do apologize to Shadi for the toxic misses. Uh, revealing, obviously I had rest, but revealing the fact that I did have rest earlier on might have uh, enabled him to conserve his que and Needle Queen a little bit longer uh, and to be able to take on my uh, Slowbro with Taunt. Uh, apparently it did have taunt for the T wave, uh, for the, uh, well, obviously the T wave as well as the rest uh, to prevent me from going for it. So. It was very nice prep on his part, uh, however, did not end up working out for him uh, as he did miss two Toxic, so that's very unfortunate. I do end up knocking Shoddy out of playoff contention as a result of this, and I myself am not in playoff contention, but uh, guys, I needed a win. Uh, I am a competitive player. I absolutely needed a win this uh this game, so uh, yeah, there's that. Uh, apparently, uh, Shadi is an Overwatch fan, so hopefully he appreciates this, uh, that little segment. I believe it is from Overwatch, what you guys heard earlier. Uh, there's a long pause. Hopefully, I'll be able to edit that in correctly, and uh, you guys won't skip a beat. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Check out my opponent in the description, as well as everything NPL related. All the links are there. Uh, subscribe if you have not already, and I will catch you guys next week. Ciao.